right guys, we thought uh, we'd come out tonight, we thought it'd be a good idea, lashing it down with rain, haven't been out for a while so we uh, thought we'd come out and tonight I'm going to sleep just uh, with a wool blanket and a tarp. So uh, it was dry this afternoon when I thought that. So it just goes to show, always, always, always keep an eye on the forecast. I knew what it was gonna do, but hey, it's one of those. We're in this lovely little area, climbs up ahead. And uh, we've got some nice food, so stay tuned. We're gonna meet Joe and Bailey as well. The guys have got the fire going. How's it going, guys? Right. All right. All right, Bailey. Yeah. Oh, you got a nice entrenchment tool there, eh? Yeah. Let's have a look at that. Dead smart. Happy Shop. days, haven't eh, they? I bet you can axe with that and everything, yeah? Yeah. Brilliant. Demonstrate it later. You can throw it as well. Like it, yeah. Happy days. Do a bit of sharpening, there we go. Yeah, well needed. Well needed, yeah. Alright guys, we're out here tonight having a bit of food and a bit of a chill, but uh, while I'm here, I'm running short on char cloth. You all know what that is, and if you don't, it's material. 100% cotton. I'm using what's really good is uh, denim. So I had an old pair of jeans which I've cut up, and uh, I've placed them in this old tin. And I'm just going to place it on the fire. Some people drill a hole to let air out and stuff, but this is quite a loose fitting. So I tend to find that it, it does the uh, the job without having to put a hole in. But we'll see how it goes on. And as always guys, remember, smoking kills, so do be careful. So I'm just gonna leave it in there. The heat itself will get in there and it'll get so hot, it'll end up charring. But then when you ignite it with a small spark from um, a fire steel or whatever you've got to use you'll have a nice little ember to put in a bundle and hopefully maybe in the morning um, or sometime tomorrow we'll use a piece and demonstrate it to you all so uh, stick with us for now and we'll come back to it later so tonight's tea chili with bulgur wheat wraps and cheese around the campfire. Joe and Bailey have got some baked potatoes and some, well, supposed to be haddock, but it's some, what is it? Taiwan copy. That's the one. Yeah, so it's some yellow fish that looks like haddock, but isn't. So, uh, but this bulgur wheat, courtesy of Hussein, is absolutely lovely. What do you reckon of it, mm. Mr. Illuminator? Three more. Yeah, yeah, not bad, not bad at all. We'll get it down till we've got a load more in here to uh, warm up. I cooked it earlier, I'm gonna warm it all up. It's better than couscous. So much more filling. Let's get it down me. About so, meanwhile, round the campfire, eating this delicious bulgur wheat and chilli, uh, it was so good, we forgot about the charcoal. One thing you should never do, leave it cooked for too long, for all my days. I can't see, can I do this? It's so brittle. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, 10 minutes, 15 minutes tops. I left it about an hour and a half. So don't do as I do, but hey, even we mess up from time to time. 
It certainly would take a spark though. <laughs> so you're pretty uh, set up for the night there, mate. Do you want to go to sleep now? No, under your, your shelter. What's the fire? Yeah. Nice reflector there, turned out really handy. Bivy bag, you'd be well sorted, mate. Yeah, long as you day. don't go playing with that axe in the middle of the night. Well, yeah, if you hear the banshee, it's not the banshee, it's Clive. It's Clive going, ah! I think my hand's in the way. I mean, uh, you want this knife as well, don't you? Just make sure the kettle's on in the morning. And don't cut yourself. You just have to bring seats over. Seats. Oh yeah. yeah. Sit around here and we can have the coffee on. Right, so I'm gonna go and get in my wool blanket. I've used mine as um as what? Put it inside the baby bag but used it as a Yeah, a bit of a under bag, under um, thing. Yeah, room mat thing. Yeah, Ujima flip. Yeah. One of those technical things, yeah. Technical I like your technical balls. jargons. So, there you go. Sleeping under the bush. Under I'll the see bush. you in the morning, in the mate. Bush. In the morning. You, reflect, uh, you can uh, feel that as well, actually. Works Off right. the, the reflection. Uh, yeah, yeah. So my set up for the night. It's just a wool blanket in there. 100% uh, wool. Looking forward to it ground dwelling tonight. Let's go and see these crazy ones over here. Oh, Bailey's getting tucked in. <laughs> He's like the tootin' Carmoon. <laughs> what are you doing? Getting you nice and snug. Snug as a bug in a rug. There you are, Bailey. Yeah. You should be toasty. Rock a bye, baby, <laughs> on the treetop. Oh, was when... I touching my bum then? <laughs> Nobody. This is on film. There's evidence. Nobody at all. I just realised Joe's stripy legs. It's a Oompa Loompa. A giant Oompa Loompa. Oompa Doompa Dickity Day. Say, and Joe got something. It's your boots. It's your boots. Can you move them? They're going to freak me well, out. Your tab's quite high up, so I'd put them there. Oh, <laughs> How to scare Bailey? <laughs> we'll put them by your head then. No, where are they? Let's see, I moved them. Otherwise, if it, if it rains, you've got to get, get up, but uh, you've got to be uh, able to reach them. It's all right them. there, because my bum's not going to touch you, is it? No one's touching anything. <laughs> Why have you put it so low, like? I don't know, I didn't mean to. I just sat on it. And no. Oh, must be all that food you had. Yeah. yeah. What are you doing? We'll, get, we'll bring you up I'm a bit. I'm going to fall, aren't I? <laughs> God help me. Hang on. So what I've set up, guys, is uh, like an envelope shape at the bottom of this. So I took my feet into there. And... Hey, presto, encapsulate myself. And I feel quite warm already, to be fair. That's pretty good. I'll see you all in the morning. Take care, guys. Night, night. Morning guys, it's about quarter past six in the morning and uh, well, survived the night, head got a bit cold, sun's coming up out there like, but um, I think it got down to about two degrees, um, quite chilly, but uh, survived so it's surprising really take a few notes and i'll make a few uh, comments later about things i might do next time but just for now just to let you know i survived 
I had to put the extra hat on and my head did get cold. Um, apart from that, not too bad. Got a little bit of sleep. get up and get that fire going to get the kettle on. The guy is sleeping behind. Happy days. There we go, matey. Yeah. Kettle's on, fire's going. Mm -hmm. Feel warmer already? Yep. Yeah. Didn't take too long to get going, really, because it's been raining out there. And the sun's coming up a bit better now. Just through there. That's my camp to the right. And Joe and Bailey's to the left. That's pretty... Uh, Pretty nice. And it drizzled everywhere. So we're going to tap this uh, this birch tree. I've just done a test with my knife, uh, just to see if it's going to run. And I think you can see that it's running already, and I've only gone in just a little. It's dripping quite nice. So I'm going to drill now and get my pot under it and stay with us. Okay. So, I don't want to go in too far. Well, that's fine, it's running really quite well there. Just a tap a bit there. So I'm only in that much, super, super things. As you notice there, it's dripping well fast, so. I don't want to waste any of that. So I've just carved out a little hook which I'm going to put in the hole I drilled with a little channel and hopefully that will feed the sap down and hold the pot. Hanger.
We'll leave that now for a few hours. We do have quite a bit in there. Let's come in. Go on in. Oops. Come back, Bailey, show him how it's done. <laughs> You show him. There you go. Some dog. <laughs> this is very extravagant. Extravagant. You get that? Excellent, Chef. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, look at it. Oh, it's boiling already. Look at that. That's exciting. Exciting. <laughs> Keep on coming. Bada bum, bada bum, bada bum, bada bum, bada bum. Yeah, it'll explode on us soon, will it? Yeah. <laughs> it's like a big snot. There's going to be no way left in there. It's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to nearly hit the floor and it's going to suck itself back in with a vacuum. <laughs> Whoop. Whoa! <laughs> Weebles wobble, but they don't fall down. And that, that hangy bit still there. <laughs> we'll come back to this in a little while. Right, guys. Well, going to be packing up in a minute uh, and heading back. Had a good night. And I just uh, thought I'd tell you what I thought about my night in just my wool blanket uh, tarp and a, a liner from the ground nothing else no roll mat no nothing um, and as expected the only issue I had was uh, my body heat being zapped which is exactly what I knew was gonna happen um, it got down as I said previously to about two degrees it was quite cold um, I had to put a second hat on, which I had with me, uh, which is more more warmer. But apart from that, I was it was an all right night to be fair. In regards to, I got through the night, didn't go down with hypothermia or anything silly. A hundred percent wool is the way to go. Like if you're gonna ever try this, uh, next time I go, I'm gonna do a comparison, which is be an obvious one, where I'll put a a slightly raised bed I won't bring a, a roll mat or anything and I'll just make it with the things out here when we got here or as you saw when we left it was uh, absolutely lashing it down so uh, I didn't really want to faff about trying to get stuff we only had like 40 minutes of light so I just thought right I'll make it extreme go on the floor get me tarp up for some cover it did rain on and off through the night a little bit not a lot and uh, it did me okay got up around quarter past six ten past six or whatever it was got a fire going and uh, everything was hunky-dory so um, quite pleased with it and I look forward to staying out as the weather's getting better I think it would be a nice easy lightweight kind of option to uh, to choose you don't need a, a sleeping bag all the time and stuff like that um, so you imagine in the summer I'd be lovely just in a a woolly blanket and uh, excellent so uh, I'm gonna put this shelter down now get packed away our man Clive here is itching to go because he wants to go shopping he's on a raft guiding course at the weekend so uh, he's got to get some prep done and uh, we're gonna leave Bailey and Joey here. Bailey's going to do a bit of a review on a new bit of kit he's got. So if we watch that on YouTube later, we can uh, give him a thumbs up. So you ready to go, Clive? Yup. Yup. Yum, yum. So uh, catch you in a little bit and then we'll say goodbye in a bit. So we're just going to do a bit of slingshot practice. The aim is the top one here. 
that our Joe's gonna have a go at now. We all uh, wait in anticipation and here he goes. First one's a miss. He's gotta get his eye in, he's only just put it there. Ooh, close. You can see the chip there. Yes, hit the bottom one, not the top, but that's a good one for me. Well done, Joe, well done. I take that back, it actually was the top one. It was the top one he hit, which indented it and made the bottom one flip out. What a marksman. I reckon we should uh, get in touch with MCQ and put a challenge, you against him, on a slingshot challenge. What do you reckon? Give it a go. Should we do that, Bailey? Yeah. yeah? Right, MC, Mike, taking up the challenge, I hope so, man. <laughs> be a man, be a man. Come and challenge our Joe. And uh, we'll put a thing on Facebook for everyone to donate something and it all goes to charity. That'll be good, wouldn't it? Good Let's see if that happens. Happy days. What a shot. Ding dong. That's us done then for this trip. Just an overnighter, a bit of fun. Uh, a few things went wrong, which is always good, so that you learn from it. Um, do keep your eye on the uh, char cloth for one, <laughs> and not get too hungry and concentrate on food. But um, yeah, it seems like it was ages since we were out. Uh, and I apologize that we haven't been able to put up some uh, videos over the last couple of weeks because myself and my cameraman both started different jobs so we've been a bit tied up but hopefully we'll get on top of that and uh, hopefully you enjoyed this one as always thanks for watching uh, if it's your first time here please like and subscribe um, be much appreciated and we'll do our best to be out soon, guys. So uh, all take care, get outdoors, and have some fun. Bye for now.